Thank you, Chairman, and thank you, Mr. Secretary. Good to see you again. Um, like anybody else in this room, I want to make sure our tax dollars that we are prying out of people's wallets are being used wisely. We've heard great things about Marcus Hook, and for my colleagues who are from Western PA, you probably don't realize how close we came to taking a header right, right off a cliff. If you're, not, if you're unaware, the 14 counties of Southwestern PA are under special EPA edict for burning a special form of gas that I think like five counties in Maine, our 14, and there's like one more on the whole eastern coast is, that are mandated to use this gas. And the only place that made it was Marcus Hook. Now, at the time this all came down, that they were going to close it and whatnot, the pipelines were already full. We had no way of getting this EPA-mandated gas to western Pennsylvania. And if you guys wouldn't have been able to pull off that last-minute catch, you'd have put all of, of my people and Jake and everybody else out in southwest PA and, uh, under some serious economic hardship for just the pur purchase of gasoline. So I, I tip my hat to you for that. Um, but back to my original question, Mr. Secretary. I'll make it real easy. How am I getting bang for my buck out of you? Tell me, tell me what DCD's got going on that's, that, as we heard from the Labor and Industry Secretary yesterday, we are driving down unemployment. And I'm just asking for a sneak peek of what you can share with us. What can sure. we expect? Well, uh, I can't take credit for everything, um, and you're from the western part of the state, so you know the discovery of an economical way to get at the Marcellus and Utica shales is an incredible opportunity for that part of the state. It's a matter of what we do with it. Uh, it's going to help us drive down energy costs. It's going to make Pennsylvania a much more attractive uh, state for location just because of our geography. Our geography works in our advantage. Uh, when I came in a little bit over two years ago, um, I took the position that I was um, a consultant trying to figure out what is the best way to streamline government for a good delivery system to um, so the taxpayers get, get the best bang for their buck. Um, the best program I see uh, on the horizon for this department is the Pennsylvania Business Development Authority, and I'll tell you why. It consolidates eight programs into one. It requires only one application. It goes from four boards to one, which is a real waste of taxpayer money. And it's going to make money available for um, uh, infrastructure and uh, business park development, which in your part of the state, as you know, is a real weakness. Yes. And it really is, if you build it, they will come. Now, Companies will come in and locate here if they have sites that are site ready. However, if they have to go in and do the infrastructure, they will not do that. They're going to go somewhere else. And again, being from the western part of the state, you see the success of uh, South Point in Washington County, an incredible business park. Um, I see some really wonderful ones in uh, the Lehigh Valley, some great industrial parks in Lycoming County and some in Cumberland County, uh, Franklin County, uh, that's why they got Volvo, because they had a great uh, uh, site ready there. So this Pennsylvania Business uh, Development Authority will really help us put money into a low interest loan program to economic development people in the counties. And then ultimately, we'll get that money back because as companies come in there and locate there, they will actually pay for that land and then this fund will be repaid. So it's, it's a low interest uh, a revolving loan fund. And if the legislature wants to know what they can do to help us for economic development across the state, that program is the best, <laughs> the best thing that you can do for us. These secretaries must all be psychic because <laughs> picking off my questions before I ask them. Um, Mr. Secretary, I have just, m Chairman, one more real quick. Um, as you know, southwestern Armstrong, southeastern Butler counties is kind of the cradle of the machining industry in Pennsylvania. We have vibrant uh, education systems in place in our vocational technical schools and our high schools. In fact, Lenape Votech in Ford City boasts about over the last 30 years having a 90% job placement rate for all of their kids coming out of their machining program. In the latest national discussion, there have been legisl there has been legislation passed in New York that would adversely affect one of their oldest 
manufacturers, Remington Arms. Yeah. I'm wondering, and just speaking with Representative Oberlander over here, because she has a similar amount of skilled machinists, would Pennsylvania think about trying to lure them in? Now, you brought up industrial parks in western Pennsylvania. Mostly, Most of ours are located in former industrial sites, the brown fields you mentioned earlier. Um, I can think of some real nice riverfront property not too far from me. Would that be something we'd be interested in? I think as we bring down our business taxes, phase out the capital stock and franchise tax, and lower the corporate net income tax, we are going to look extremely attractive to industries that are located in the states around us. If you go to the corridor along the Delaware River, a lot of the growth that they're getting are companies moving over from New Jersey because our we just have a much better setup than they do. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a better business climate, uh, lower property taxes, and I, I, look, I'm not going to say that um, New York State isn't fair game. Uh, you know, we're open for business. Well, I hope we can talk some more about <laughs> it. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.